So I'm gonna run down to the store real quick and when I come back I gotta do a little work on the car like I was I don't know if I mentioned in my other video or not, but since I hooked up the voltage meter I've been hearing some crackling come out of those tweeters But I think that's something to do with uh Maybe when I push the radio in maybe one of the wires are pinched on or grounding out So I'm gonna mess with that and also I had another issue See how the speakers drop these bolts one of my co-workers had a uh, I was showing him how it sounded yesterday, or the day before, and um, one, of the, one of the bolts was sticking out. And then I got to feeling them, and a whole bunch of them had loosened up. So I'm going to take that out, try to redrill and fix that problem. So two things I got to do, and we'll do a demo. But how are y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope your weather doesn't suck like mine. How y'all enjoying the new group? I see we got almost 80 members in it. So, I'll post the links again in this video. But let me warm this car up 
and get down to uh, the storm back so we can start working on this. Like a river going through my front yard. It's been doing that all morning. It was worse earlier. I think it starts from over there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right there. It's coming down off that mountain. Goes all the way down. Used to wash out our yard down that way. Anyway, we out of here. Alright guys, we got the shop open. I've been in here cleaning up a little bit. Wanted to show you guys this 15 box since it's been a while since I've showed it. It was all buried back there in the back. All right. I want to eventually put this back in the car, but Boom Daddy says he might have somebody who wants to buy it. So we'll see. You know, because I already got everything else built in my car, but I really like this box. I put a lot of work into it. It's got six coats of clear. Um, it's double baffled, tuned to 35 hertz. I think the port area is 90. I'm not positive on that. I'll, f I'll look back in through my screenshots and see if I can find out exactly what it is. Um, cause I do have the cutout sheet and stuff. Um, I used drywall screws, two and a quarter. So they're sunk good. Um, it's 45 in the port. It's a little dusty in there. It's been sitting guys. 45 there. These right here, the ring terminals on these. See if I can move it. See, I soldered them on to the my ring terminals. Well, you can sorry about that. I dropped the camera, but you can. Put your own ring terminals on it. Um, it's Gorilla glued everything really good, all the seams. Then I went over it like three times with the Gorilla glue. I have videos on it, like I think part five, five part video. <laughs> it was all snowy and cold, so I was stuck in here doing this. But it, it made it better because I was able to rig it really nice. I put a lot more time into it. Then I put clear coat all weather, silicone all the way around every seam too to help seal it off. I pre-cut the front board. I should have waited and cut it later so it didn't make it to here. But that's fine. You see how much clear coat's in there. Plus it's Gorilla glued. Both boards are Gorilla glued together. I had screwed them together to hold it. And then I Gorilla glued. All, I took the screws out and Gorilla glued every hole. You know, I fixed my mess up. You see what I'm saying? So th those two boards are one now. Th that Gorilla glues on every piece, every part of the surface underneath here. Where these boards go together so it's sealed really well so don't worry about that the ring terminals here see you can put your wire in there probably put up the four gauge in there if you cut some strands out see fit a focus in there there you go and then you know, these things come all the way off i i put them in with the rubber mallet i pre-drilled the hole a little smaller and it's got like a little offset thing that where you can hit it in and it locks into the wood it tells you i think it's quarter inch drill bit and i tapped it in with and i put gorilla glue uh, wood glue around it let it dry so these makes it easy connect and disconnect really good instead of them c cup terminals you know what i mean guys no big holes no air leaks you know so that was a good feature i added i want to continue to put that on my boxes um here's the back the underneath part it, it's Clear coated as well, scuffed a little from taking in and out of the car, but not that can, nothing that little clear coat couldn't fix. All right, now on to the next box. This is the 18 box that the 18 came in. Dustin used to own, and it, it he took the eight inch arrow port for his new build, so that's all it needs. It's 45 inside. You can see it. It's just hole in the side. It needs terminals. Old 15 box that I used to have the. Um, death bounce is in this thing will focus there I messed it up when I was making something else for a wall and I cut that out but I can fix all that this 45 and in all the corners this is made, made out of MDF and the reason I don't like MDF look how it splits this only single baffle though this is double baffled 10 box that I always had my 10s in I cut out top and put a 15 in it and I sealed this off, but I can cut the rings out. It's double baffled and make it into a tin box again. You guys seen most of this stuff. It's just been stored because of the bad weather. Starting to get it out so I can remember what I got and so I can start using the stuff. This is that nylon protects your wire. Whole roll of that. A lot of the stuff Tony sent. Some stuff I got. We got uh we caught toggle switches. 
which are nice to have to run stuff like this fan you know i want to set that up in the back there with the amps rca the junction thing here so you can run like two four channels off this or four sub amps whatever you're trying to do zero to four eight to or four to eight dual zero or whatever i think you can go smaller and if you want junky ones from walmart lights base knob which i might make take this base knob see it's scorpion just like that meter that uh base man sent me that's what i was talking about tony sent me that and this is going to go on my alternator center later and run two runs of zero gauge to the uh the lithium battery in the back i got one run of zero gauge and a four gauge run factory running to the from the alternator to the uh lithium right now so but i'm eventually going to do this haven't been able to work on the car outside you know too much because of the weather but it's starting to get warmer out now just raining this weekend unfortunately but i'm it's not at the moment so i'm trying to get a little something done got these terminals you can put zero gauge four gauge i think it's even i mean i got some of those i got the things that go in that i had them out for other wire i think for zero gauge to fit into it but then i got all these jake y splitters j cables whatever and then these fuse things fuse links my lithium charger scar crossovers i'm yet to hook all this stuff up i've been wanting to hook it all up but i'm gonna work on what i told you guys earlier i gotta get that speaker uh the, the 18 i gotta figure out why them bolts must be stripped out in there i gotta try to fix that see if i can get that i still haven't had to use my solder gun yet it's still brand new ain't been able to do much of anything guys you know it's been so bad out but this is a nice solder gun dude came with co uh, solder and flux got two different tips so that's gonna be really nice to when i go to have to use it but that's it for now i just wanted to show you guys that a little bit i'm gonna get to working on the subwoofer see what i can get done with that and the static that's coming from when i put that voltmeter in but uh i really just wanted to show off this box um i really put a lot of work into it um uh, i really wish that I, my 15s didn't get blowed up and I had two more 15s and I could throw them in there and then kind of build around a wall around this thing. It'd probably be badass. What do you guys think? In this box. Yeah, if, if you had a couple of sundown, really like ZV5s or something put in this, because there wouldn't be too much space for them. This, this box would be perfect for two ZV5s. It's eight cube, big ass port. Shit. It'd be slamming on this thing, dude. And it looks good. You know what I mean? If you had like a, if you had like a SUV and put this in the back, dude, you'd be humping with it, dog. Anyway, let me get out here and work on this thing and do what I do. One other thing I wanted to go over for the new guys. I know you old guys already know what I got, old subscribers. Um, because a few people have asked me in some of my newer videos about the big three. I just rinsed my car down a little bit. It got muddy. I mean, it's been raining. I've cleaned this car so many times in the last couple of months. Oh, it's exhausting trying to keep this thing clean. So I cleaned it up a little bit because there was mud on it and stuff. But so bear with me on that. It's a little dirty. But anyway, I got a JS 250 alternator. I got a half inch shorter belt to uh, make it run tight because the pulley was smaller. It, it when it, they sent it to me, there was instructions to do that, so I did. Matter of fact, at first I tried to use my old belt, but it was too loose. And you see right there, that's that's the mounting bracket. And from there, from the mounting bracket, I got the American Base Zero Gauge. It's red. I didn't have any more black, so I just used this one. It doesn't really matter. This is foreground chassis. Sanded it, put it on there. All right. So that's grounded there. Then, if you look right here, that's the positive post. It has the original factory wire that runs back to the alternator, which it is um, four gauge. And it goes, and then it ha has the zero gauge welding cable that I added, which goes into the car back through there. So it, I got it running down through the inside of the car. You can't even see it, so I did a good job in that. I also have the body 
grounded the motor grounded to the body um see if i can get down there and see it it's kind of hard to get in that spot with the camera but that this goes right here this one goes this one goes to the engine and then to the body so that's the engine's grounded as well that's the big three then if you go to the back There's where that zero gauge that came comes straight from the alternator to here. And there's the factory one that came with the car. So I just ran both, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end up using that bracket I showed you guys a minute ago to run two runs of the zero gauge. So that's gonna help. And I'm gonna run a ground all the way from um, the mounting bracket to this side to the ground. But I have it grounded, the battery grounded to the body, real short length. Look. Boom, you see what I'm saying? I just got it taped on there. Now I might do a little better on that, I know. DS18 reducers, and I have two runs of zero gauge welding cable fused at 300 each. So two fuses, 300, running to here, she's run straight to the battery. Two runs of the ground, DS18, same thing dual ground running to the battery limitless lithium 40 amp hour um, battery has built-in balancers and all that's really nice powering the md 8k which i only have it turned up to like 3k for that 18 right now until i can get some more subs or better subs or whatever then my toro 4 channel has built-in clipping lights art uh, tiffany style rcas was rated 100 times 4 i see the company has dropped the ratings to like 83 times four. But I don't know. I don't care. I know it, I don't even got it turned up that much. And it makes my four scar 6.5. I got two scar 6.5s in the doors. And two behind the seat. And two DS18 tweeters hooked to this. And it, it screams. And I can turn it up even louder if I want. It has all the control settings there. You can run four gauge. Which I got into it. I got some old CCA wire on that. I got to upgrade that wire. And then there's the speaker inputs. I think you can put up to, you can probably put up to like 10 gauge in it. Maybe, maybe eight. I got six gauge running from the speaker outs on the tar amps. The 8K going into for the sub. Um, These are SCAR four channel RCA, the double twisted. That go to my base knob. Okay, I'll go from there to the base knob. Which I'm going to make one of them pops base knobs or something, dudes. So, but... Oh, no, they don't go to the base knob. They go to the... My bad. That's for the four channel. They go to the line-out converter. All right. The base knob, I got to get better RCAs that go straight to the head unit. Because they got a short run of these old ones I had. And then from the base knob, from the base knob to the amp is scar rcas and that's for the sub all right so that's what powers it got the voltmeter and a pioneer head unit and that's the model if you can read it probably can't this camera never focuses but it's the one with the cd player so clip monitor is there see i don't know if you can see in there see it. but those are scar in there. So. Eventually I'm going to make door pots so you can see them and stuff. And then of course you know I got the scars behind the seat. And the two DS18 tweeters. That board got messed up from taking that other box in and out. So. It is what it is dudes. Anyway let me get to working on this sub. Just want to give a rundown for the new guys. That's all. So. <laughs> you know I didn't want to have to keep repeating in the comments what i got for power so there you go guys i do have uh the big four done actually a little more than the big three it's an older 2006 saturn ion 3 2.4 overhead cam ecotech engine you know i'll show you it's an old engine it looks it's this car set for a while but i did fix all the engine and stuff up put new brand new double platinum spark plugs and everything else in it and brand new camshaft position sensors I put in it 
see it's got the four coil packs so you know it just looks a little dirty because it's old but it runs really good so i just got a different computer for the transmission and everything too so that's what powers my car i mean my my system guys so that you guys know i do have this efficient electrical to run the subs i just need better subs <laughs> so anyway let me get to work just wanted to give a rundown real quick all right guys i had to go in my room for something real quick so I, while i'm in here to keep this video going with what i've got and stuff um for some of the new guys these are my 215 american base uh, xfls and then i got the 210s i blew these this i blew this one so bad the solder look at the spider is burnt to death it's supposed to be white like that and that's what it looks like so i got to get these reconed i don't even know if i can this one because i think the shaft might be messed up because that solder boiled inside there and then this one's pretty smoked too it ain't as bad but it's it's like i can't even move it so it's gonna have to probably be cleaned out hopefully these are salvageable but i don't know um this one's like stuck see it's supposed to be up like that so i don't know and then i got the original first one back here the xfl 10 which is it's not really burning or nothing this sounds springy listen and this one is just one of the, the wire broke the coil voice coil broke okay which sucks but eight hundred dollars worth of subs sitting here and i can't even do not with them so i get recones so that's what's up you know i got the sun down in the car but just want to show you all that as well i gotta get the recones i still haven't got them we haven't worked them enough we've only worked one or two days every week for the last month but spring's coming it's starting to get better out besides it's raining this weekend but uh we will get these fixed here i popped this one back up so i want to include that it was just stuck down so <clears throat> beautiful spiders though i love the red it just makes that those uh tons of leads stand out don't it nice subs man i just overpowered them it was my fault as i started doing this it started raining i had to close the door <laughs> dang and i gotta rewire it because i'm gonna try doing something different the spider looked dusty on this thing but i got a little paint on here i might have to get that off but i'll show you the box a little bit see i got a hole drilled out through there that's where the wire is going through but port So it's sealed good, you know what I mean? So just gotta make sure that see how close these are to the edge. I should have cut this hole a little bigger. I cut it a little close. So it's gonna be hard getting this back in now because I put this in when it was in, already in it. So but we're gonna make it work. Just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Alright guys, I inverted it. I gotta go get some silicon to put around the edge because uh those bolts i need i need to redo it but it was carved by myself i'm gonna have, have to have somebody help me you know what i mean so but <laughs> gotta be careful when i get close to those magnets i was trying to show you the wiring but uh i had to run some jumpers over to the other one drop it at one ohm you know it's a dual two ohm sub so anyway it's sounding pretty good um, I've been idling here. I need to drive it. So and I tested it out a little bit, of course. Um, so I'll play a song. It's raining like hell. I can't go out there where we can really see anything. So we'll do the best we can. And I got to go to the store and get that silicon to put around that edge. But we'll go ahead and check it out real fast. See how it sounds right now. All right, guys. Unfortunately, it's just not going to stop raining. So that's all we can get done for today. But um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Man, I appreciate all the new subscribers, man. And that's why I made that little detailed video part about uh, 
you know, what all powers my stuff, you know, that way you guys know. So, hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to do one last uh, demo. The quality kind of sucks when the sun's not out and shit, you know, so that you can't really see the flex of the car as much. But, you know, we do what we can here on Base Junkie 2020. You know, like I said, no matter how big, how small, if you like it, we love it. And that goes for everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the group. Um, I see we're getting up like 80-something members, man. You guys are sharing your stuff, man. And uh, some of you guys got some amazing freaking builds. And that guy, JD, man, he's an ultimate builder. I give him that. So I'm really enjoying that. Just start sharing your content, whatever you want on there, dudes. That chat, uh, that group I made for you guys. I have the other group linked to the Facebook page as well. So, you know, go ahead and hit that one up too, you know. So you can use that, the page, and both groups. But the main one is, you know, the one y'all been hitting up. And I really appreciate that, man. And, you know, you guys are doing an excellent job. And uh, I want to thank the moderators, you know, Mike and Neil. They're doing an excellent job. Thanks, guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and end this video with a kick-ass demo. Um, like I said, sorry, the quality ain't better, but, you know, see, it's cloudy. There ain't no, no sun to be seen, but we'll do what we do. You know, how you guys like it inverted? You know, I'm like a sub-in guy, but I put it out just to see if it sounds any better, or how it does and all that, you know what I mean? That's my mic for my phone. But, you know what I mean? So, anyway, let's check out this last song, and we'll call it a night, and then uh, catch me in the next one, y'all. Late.
Making sure she paid. Now she 